Stone Rest uh, started when I approached uh, Steve White. Like myself, Steve had been in uh, multiple businesses. He had been in the skilled nursing business before. We wanted to, to, to take care of people from the uh, standpoint perspective of love. We wanted to take care of our co-workers. We wanted to build something really, really special that focused on patient care, that focused on, on giving our employees just phenomenal opportunities to grow. Uh, that's really what got us, got, us, got us started. We wanted to lead with our Christian faith and we wanted a name that would uh, tell people that this is what we believe. And so we arrived at the name Stone Rise um, really from the story in the gospel and, and, and the story of Christ, the Easter story. And so the stone has, a, has different meanings, but uh, I think the big part about the stone is, is you know, stone is something that uh, was really large and very difficult to move. Uh, it took God to move it. But when the stone was rolled away and he rose, uh, that is the Easter story. That's the story of, of Christ, the story, story of Christianity. During this time, I went through you know, a couple really difficult seasons of life. Um, and one of them was with my, my father. My father uh, was a just amazingly healthy 70-year-old man who went across the, the country six months a year playing softball at a very, very high level. But he had a stroke. And, and unlike uh, a lot of strokes, his stroke didn't, didn't do anything to his physical body, but it basically uh, destroyed, destroyed his brain. And so when it first happened, he was, he was very aggressive. It was difficult for us to understand exactly what was going on, even with a mom who's a registered nurse. It's difficult for the doctors to understand exactly what, what happened. But eventually we landed into, a, into our skilled nursing center that had an Alzheimer's unit and a very caring community. And that's where we spent the next uh, the next seven years. Uh, from doing that, uh, at that time, you know, I wasn't you know I wasn't the boss. I wasn't the um, you know I wasn't the guy. I was just Bob's son. And from being Bob's son in that setting, then I got to know the you know the maintenance people, the cooks, the CNAs, the housekeepers. We were all on first name basis. Uh, we became one big family. I, I knew more about their lives and probably about their center than. The leadership of that center did, but but I understand how hard the work is on the front lines. I understand how difficult um, the transitions are on the families. From that, it taught me a lot about what's going, what was going on in our centers that I wouldn't have known, would have never known if I had not experienced um, um, the um, the time there with my father and the time with those those wonderful folks at the center that he was in. And that spurred us along, Steve and I, along that we wanted to do things differently. We really wanted to care about the patients. Our transitional care model was based upon the, um, I think what, what healthcare does the worst, and that's transitions. We, we're, healthcare in general is just really bad about transitioning a patient from one doctor to another, from, one, from a hospital to a skilled nursing center, from a hospital to uh, outpatient therapy. We're just terrible about that. We're, we're, we're really good about just saying, hey, go here at this time with no explanation. And so our transitional care model is, is set up to walk patients and their families through the various transitions that are, that are necessary to get them back home. And we felt like if we we're gonna be effective for that, as far as Stone Rise, that we had to be more than a skilled nursing company. And so from that, we decided to develop other, other types of businesses from our skilled nursing centers to our um, home health agencies, to our therapy companies. All these things are designed to be able to follow the patient from one, one area to another to make sure those transitions are smooth, the coordination and cooperation, communication is smooth. At Stonehurst, I am most proud of the, uh, the feeling of community, uh, the love that we show each other uh, as far as our teammates, our, our co-workers, the love that we show our patients, uh, the compassion that we show to, to people, um, the uh, going the extra length to try to solve problems, to try to treat, each, treat people fairly. I'm really proud about how we go the extra effort uh, to uh, uh, to do those things, and and I think in, in, in our in our country in our culture, uh, you don't see that very much, and that's just something. Uh, if, if, if I have to stand on one thing that I'm proud of, that's that's what I'm most proud of.